Uh, Eric, would you mind if I answer writing? I express myself better writing, especially in English. Uh, that's fine, but this question has got a very short answer. Okay, but uh, continue the talk, uh, the uh, conversation. Okay, well, uh, I want to see, I want Luna and Susie to see what they think about that question as well. Anybody else who is curious about it? Um, so I'm going to give everybody a second to look at it and see what they think. Blank. Did you go to raw two? Maybe on raw two. Okay, so it's true, Luna, the Portuguese will not attack Norway, but that's given in the assumptions. So it's not really concluded. Okay, correct. That should say in Portugal. You're right, Luna. I caught it when I realized I should reread it right now. I realized. Okay, there is, if I say that, yes, it needed to say in Portugal in there. Correct. You caught, you caught the mistake. That was not really a big mistake. Thank you, I appreciate you. No, if, if you count all the sheep in Portugal, it's the, it's defined earlier. Yeah, but I, in shit like this, you got to be quite precise. And I understand that I should have put it in Portugal there. I should have. But, you know, the thing is, if you did have that piece of information, Luna, what would you conclude? Yeah. But you see the answer. They say nothing about having more black sheep. That was that was his answer. They said nothing about having more black sheep. I don't know what that means. There is more black sheep than any other color, but the other colors can outnumber the black sheep. 
Right, but it says, if the Portuguese count all the sheep in Portugal and German, the black is the most common color for sheep. So if you yeah. have the most I, black I, sheep, I, then it's the most common color for sheep. Yeah, the answer is not the yeah. eye. Well, let's try a simple one. All right, guys. Here's a simple one for you. So it's like room one not working well, or you guys just hanging out in room two today? It just happened. Oh. We're not conformist, she. Okay. Um, that's conforming the to being non-conformist, so. Oh, that's where the conformists hang out, okay? <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> if Joe doesn't kick me, I get happy at Joe. Well, last Friday, I wasn't happy at Joe. I did it again. <laughs> at Joe, okay? What can you include? Yeah, I hear thinkers say I feel, like, all the time. I also hear feelers say I think. So. That wasn't, but that wasn't Susan. Susie's warrant. That wasn't what she said as to why she was responding to something like that. She didn't say it's because you used the word feel. She said that response isn't consistent or indicative of how T.I. would normally display. So I said, well, let's check this again because I'm not sure. And I'm sure she's not sure either. And she were had to stake her very life upon her understanding of this. She probably would be unwilling to make that wager because the stakes would necessarily outweigh any possible benefit. Anyway. In English, uh, just let me just say that. In English, I use the word feel because uh, I use the word feel because I think that infers that I'm talking from my experience. It's a noble perspective. And if I say I think, it, um, it looks like a guess. Okay, me. but Okay, but nobody's drawing any conclusions about you based on the fact that you use the word feel or think. Suzanne is. That's not what she said is the reason, though. It's not the reason she gave. She said it many times. What did I say? About the word feel. Yeah, you have talked about feeling stuff. Has, have you heard her say... The reason she thinks you're not an INTP is because you use the word feel in place of the word think? Yeah. Susie, did you actually use that argument? I'm not sure what I've said. I mean, you didn't use it tonight or this morning or whatever time of day it is. All right, well, look, can you she answer me this one? That I look like a INSP. Hold on. I'm not saying shit, dude. I'm trying to figure it out. So, look, if Joe doesn't kick me, I get happy at Joe. Last Friday, I was not happy at Joe. What can you conclude? She did, uh, he did something else. 
Luna, what do you think you can conclude? I can't English right now. I oh, Luna can't. Susie, what do you think you can conclude? I don't know. He's annoyed with me. Okay, you don't. Okay. Well, well, the thing is, conditionality, like this, conditionality proofs, or whatever you want to call them, are a good way to understand where TI falls in a person's stack. Now, with INFP, INFP can be tricky because 8th slot TI can actually be quite strong. INFPs can be quite intelligent and effective at TI, but they don't it's it's a vital function for them rather than a mental process. So as a consequence, they're kind of meow about it. The thing is, a conditionality thing says if A, then B. Not B, therefore not A. And the higher the stronger TI is, the more intuitively you understand those conditionality laws. I always feel like, like there's not enough in that, not enough information. But there is enough information for that question. What do you think the answer is? Because he, he could have brought just one box for a number of reasons. But it says specifically that if they had been cheap, Dad would have bought two boxes, period. That'd be know that to be the case. Regardless of what else, if eggs were cheap, Dad would have bought two boxes. But if I tried to picture this situation in real, in real life, there could uh, have been many interferences. Okay, but... It's so not that Dad doesn't decide at all. It's that what I'm trying to get. Okay, well, let's replace the... There are many factors. ...with symbols, okay? If... A or B, then C would have D. But not B. Okay, same thing, same thing.